hello guys and welcome back so today we are doing another kind of budgeting um, video 2021 is just around the corner and we want to make the best of this year coming it's been a rough year it's been a rough 2020 year and now we want to make the best of it COVID will still not go and we can't just depend on 2021 for COVID to go it won't just disappear vanish because it's a, it's a new year so we need to focus on other things we need to focus on our goals we need to feel motivated about other things and not COVID so last year my goal was to get a house which I did I walked me and my husband we walked our asses off to get this house to gather the money for the deposit the baby also is coming and we got the things that we needed to get for the baby so for now uh, we don't need to spend any more money on that so now we are focusing on the wedding we want to save up for the wedding and it might not be a wedding for you it might be something different so I'm just gonna give you a few tips like or just tell you what I do to save money if I want to save up for something so how to save for anything in 2021 so first of all what do you want to save for set your goal what do you want to do what do you want to achieve even if you don't have something specific it's good to save every single month it's good to put something on the side because you never know when you're gonna need that money you might have an emergency god forbid someone might go sick you might go out of work you never know you never know so it's good to plan ahead it's good to plan from before it's good to have something on the side it's good to look in the future instead of just the present you have to think that things might be good now but you never know anything can happen so it's good to save something on the side so how do I do that it's about planning 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 that's the biggest thing if you want to achieve anything in life you have to plan you have to take notes you have to think and put everything down make a list of things how you can achieve them and all that so what I do uh, every month I always plan my expenses always so I have my I planned my expenses for December so I type things I type things and then it gets messy because at the end I have you know things change and maybe I have other things that I need to pay for so I need to adjust my savings and all that or if I put let's say 200 pounds or 300 pounds for groceries for the month I might need to think that okay let's cut it down this month maybe I don't need to buy any any stuff for the laundry so that will save that will save me money so i can cut on that just think of of things on your list of expenses of your monthly expenses that you won't need urgently and take the money that you are planning to take out from that from that one so uh, let me show you how i do it so let's just type an example of um, monthly expenses so you have an so you can have an idea on, on what I spend and how to save at the end so guys that's the list of my monthly expenses and I put the month here for month December so I have three categories so the regular expenses the other expenses that's the ones that can change or can be added from month to month and savings that's that's the stable savings 
of every month and then at the end you calculate all that you put down your pay and from your pay you take out the total and then you see how much you can save additionally so I'm just putting down my usual monthly expenses car finance car insurance actually is going down this month which I'm very, very happy seriously because car insurance can be ridiculous groceries is usually 200 but because this month I spent a bit more so I just you know I just take out maybe 20 pounds something that you can work with don't be too restrictive because you need to eat you can't just put a hundred pounds for groceries in a month and then out and other out is you know if you go out and eat or things like this maybe take away and other as well for any other expense additional food and all this kind of things then other expenses I put the things that can change from month to month like in summer electric and gas can be much lower because you don't use the gas but during winter it goes up my credit card is 87 so in order for me to pay that I have to take 20 pounds out of my groceries so yep you have to play around with the numbers and then the savings that's a stable savings that's the usual savings that will never change because I have to save something every month that's for sure so all that when you calculate all that so that's thousand pounds and five so that's what I'm gonna pay for my bills this month every month my pay is changing so so that's the pay for the month so if I if I take if I calculate my pay for the month and take out the expenses so that leaves me with 219 pounds so I can still save 219 pounds this is what I'm gonna be saving for this month so yeah this is how I usually calculate a monthly expenses so if you do that every month you will definitely be able to save something from your pay I used to be able to save so much so much so much more because I used to work extra hours extra hours so if you have a big goal that you want to achieve you have to work hard for it that's the only thing I can tell you you have to work there's no other choice loan should be the last solution and but also in order for you to get a loan you have to work on your credit score so so don't do silly mistakes that will cause your credit credit score to go down now my credit score is, um, is very good so if I want to take a loan out I can I can pay it with very little interest this this list that I do every month it really helped helped me to organize myself and plan and and um, and be able to save every month and it's a good it's a good representation of um, how much you spend how much you save you have all the data there you know how, how much you're spending if you feel that you're spending so much on something you you can go back and change it and take something out and and reduce the, the, the money you spent on something that is not really necessary so this is what I want you to take from this video and because I want to save a bit more this month my additional savings is 219 so I'm gonna take 21 31 pounds from the other so I can make it 250 so this way I save more so play around see what you can afford see what you can live without to be honest I'm not I'm a shopaholic I bought everything that I wanted to buy last month so this month 
I will stop. It's about self-discipline, it's about training yourself to abstain from um, buying and spending unnecessarily. This year, let's be better. Let's save a bit more. Let's achieve more goals. Let's get closer to our goals in general. I hope that I helped and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.